Okay, friends, subscribers, and all you YouTube viewers out there. Have I got a doozy for you? The real truth about the moon and Apollo 14's mission. Uh, as you can see there to the right and to the left, there seem to be some sort of structures. Um, I was just inquisitive about some stuff. I just noticed out of the corner of my eye when I was looking at some stuff for Apollo 14 that I noticed little things like that. Um, I'm, that was actually the first one I noticed. It sort of looked to me to be a, like a ruin or something. Um, so I started scanning around and just moving around in Google um, Moon a bit more. As you can see, I have the locations of the objects on the moon. Now that one intrigued me and still intrigues me. I believe that to be some kind of underground structure. Uh, seems to have dirt over it. Um, now at first I thought these may have been buildings but I, like these could be some kind of moisture collector or whatever. Um, they seem to be in all different stages of repair. Um, now I thought could they be um, like yeah I don't know but then I noticed that they sort of seem to go, I thought they were zigzag, but it's not really a zigzag. I noticed objects that had shadow, and this area seems to be a highly populated area. Um, I noticed different structures within the, um, the footage, as you can see by the the film line, it sort of the structure line. Um, these squares too in interest me. I, th I thought they were originally put there by NASA. But then I started seeing ones like this and sort of thinking, hang on, this is all the same res. Um, maybe they've covered them up and sort of they're hiding something. But then I started noticing other objects and everything and these um, like crosses, they're not actually in an order. And then I noticed where there's supposed to be a cross, you'll see one without the sides to it. So, okay, I started thinking, what in the hell is actually going on? And then I actually started finding more of these gizmos. Um, now, to me, these look to be some definite kind of structure, and some of them have buildings next to them. Um, you'll see in some other photos a bit later as we go through these that there is a definite building where, where there's a definite crater and again that's where a cross was supposed to be. Now looking at what's around it, um, you can see other objects and things like that and when you zoom in on them you get like, now it's not the pixelation, you get like those light as if they're definite lights. Um, now this wasn't a cross, this was a structure and I noticed there was another structure to the right of it, as you can see there. Um, so I just kept on looking and kept on investigating. And these crosses were of interest to me. And now you can see what is su supposedly craters. Um, but then, like, look at the shadows in all the pictures. It's sort of, a, okay, you can say, okay, well, that's a crater, that's a crater. Um, and that's very important. Um, as we go along. I can't remember what that image was. Oh, oh yeah, there, yeah, to the left. You can see that structure there. Um, that's definitely not put there by NASA. That's a picture of something there on the moon. Um, it was some kind of building. And these, to me, look like... Mi that looks like a mining field, as if they're actually mining something in the ground. Now, again, there's one of these uh, structures... Um, and they seem to stretch along. It sort of, they, yeah, what are they? They're sort of, they're in a certain area. Now, it's sort of so many different things in this, this section of Apollo 14. Now, I've actually measured it. This site is approximately eight kilometres from the so-called... Um, Apollo 14 landing site. Now, to me, okay, Apollo 14, they could move that distance in the in the thing. Now, again, here's another one of those structures in 
a decayed form in one area and it looks like they've used it another bit now there's one of those crosses now look at the the pixelation on that cross has that been done by nasa to hide something i think it actually has because i think there's something either attached to this cross or it's been pixelated and been placed there now you start to see more of these um, images and you can see that they're definitely there's definitely something there and again they're in similar region to what looks to be a mined area um, you can see definite cutouts this is an overall picture of how many of them are there there's actually more that expand out into the un um, into the the undeveloped area but again now looking at that one you can see that these are in extremely decayed forms and it looks like pieces have been pulled off um, there's a trail in that same area now I'm not actually going to concentrate on the what seem to be buildings at the moment um, now this was a pipeline I believe um, it sort of yeah crosses different things but when you're looking at all these areas you've got to look at them very carefully as you can see here to the, the pixelated area that you have all these different areas now look at the crosses they're not in a standardized form like if these were placed there by NASA these would be in exact position and everything yet there not now I believe that these are connected to those de degenerated structures in some way now there's an object there that could be a craft on the moon um, yeah so what are these things you've got to question yourself um, now to me that looked like uh, ruins within a city and NASA seems to have pixelated over it or tried to but again this looks like one of those objects but this seems to be in a bit better state of repair but a very degenerated state of repair now this to me actually looks like a pyramid at the top at one side of it um, it's definitely something there now as I said, see to the bottom, you look at the shadows on these objects down just under that white light lit area. They're on the opposite side, so they're not craters, they are objects. Now, you can see here that this is an object because that's where the film line is, yet these objects are being moved across. Now, this tells you that these objects are not a fault of the film, these are actually on the moon. Now look at the, the shadows. As I said, these are structures and the shadows are the opposite side of what they would be on a crater. Um, and you only have to look at my north south to see that. See, there's a, a crater shadow. Um, so these objects here are definitely structures. They're buildings, those little dots they're not craters they are buildings because it got a shadow on the opposite side um, again that was a hollow that looked to be have something in it that's been de deliberately pixelated because it's the pixels were extremely different now looking see you can see the buildings there's buildings there there's a crater there's a crater there's a building in a crater so what is NASA hiding from us they're hiding the truth the truth is there are beings on Mars there are creatures that live on Mars they have built cities on oh, not Mars sorry sorry folks the moon I've just been reviewing some Mars footage but it's these objects you can see where they go across the film lines and they've broken them up so okay they're not to do with the film lines. They are actual structures. You can see ruined structures. You can see new structures. I don't know what they... At one stage of the game, I thought these might have been moisture collectors. Again, there's a building inside a crater. There's a, um, some kind of pipeline coming into that crater at the very top. And it seems to be other buildings there. Now, look at it. That is a structural object, and it's connected. 
it's got something to do, what is it? Is it a, um, their version of our, um, what would you say, their version of our telescope could be. But looking at that, you can see that is mining activity. That white object at the top, to me, looks like some kind of a station. Um, and I believe that could be mining structures. Look at it. This is a mining operation. You can clearly see they're looking for something. They're harvesting, and 10 to 1 what they're harvesting, they're harvesting helium-3. Um, because it's in abundance on the moon. But when you look at everything, this is only 8 point something kilometres from the landing zone. So what is it? Why did they land so close and yet far away? Now, okay, you're doing a reconnaissance mission. So you're out there and you're spying on somebody. You're not going to land right on their doorstep. You're going to land far enough away that you, but you can still get there easily. And that's what the Apollo mission did. They landed 8.3 kilometres away from these buildings or whatever they are and they came across. And I believe they used the rover to get to areas where they could spy on these things. I believe what we're seeing there are actual craft. Um, or they could be some kind of sentry station or whatever, or boundary markers for the, the people there, because they're definitely not NASA, because if they were NASA, they would be in a perfect setup so that when you looked at these things, you could say, okay, well, that's that area will divide it up like that. But they're not like that. They're out of place. Well, you've only got to go there and look at this footage for yourself, and you can see it. Um, now, there's different things within all these images. You may need to actually stop and pause this. I recommend viewing this, connecting your computer up to your, your big TV. There's one of those crosses, by the way. Have a look at it. It's quite out of shape. There's one. Of, there's a path. Now, what are these things? Why are they there? Yet, they are there. This is the question. There's buildings. There's objects around these areas and when you look at that to me that just spells mining you can see now that building that is a cra I don't know whether that's a craft or whether that's a building um, and I don't think they've sort of taken too much credence to these objects but that could be some kind of long vehicle could be a building but when you look at these these, these two you have a what looks to be a working one and one that's just totally in ruins and that was some stuff I saw now yeah, you can see some structure in that crater and this is apparently so called where Apollo 14 landed and that was as I said 8 point something kilometres from these um, structures and yet when you're looking at these as I said these show mining. It's sort of, you can see indentations. You can see stuff cut out. Yet you can see buildings as well. Now, when you're spying on somebody, as I said, you're not going to park close to them, but you are going to park close enough so you can get to them. Now, that one there, you can definitely see there's something there, but I just can't make out what it is. Um, pixelation isn't round, by the way. Um, now... When you're looking at different things, you've got to say, okay, what is it for? Is that how they live? Do they live in long houses like our ancestors did? Um, maybe they do. Then maybe that's where we got the idea from the long houses. But so much stuff has been covered up by NASA that we actually have to turn around and think. Now, you might notice that in this video I'm talking a little bit softer than I normally do. Uh, but that's only because I haven't got up to the like the NASA cover-up side of things. I want to explain everything to nice. I've had a few comments about how I sort of yell in some of my videos, so I'm trying to keep it down a bit in this one. But the thing is, trust me, I do feel 
that anybody that turns around to this, and I'm going to yell for a little bit, that turns around to this and tries to debunk this, you're a fucking idiot. There's a building, right? Now, how can you deny that that's not a building above that cross? They are buildings. That's a crater beside it. They are buildings, or they are spacecraft. Now, you've got to open your eyes and look at this. This is eight point something kilometres, and as you can see on the undeveloped side of it, there's another one of those structures. It's in there, and it's in a certain area. You can see structures within the the buildings. The pixels are very small in this, yet that is a structure. So stop being idiots and start opening your eyes, people. You've got to start looking at things. And you've got to start, and I'm going back to being mellow, and I, it's, I know it's not normally like this, most probably next video I'll go back to my normal way, but the thing is, it's sort of, you've got to turn around and you've got to look at what you're seeing. Okay, that is something there. There's something there. There's quite a lot of information in these images. Maybe they've just decided to turn around and start publishing their images in poor quality. Now, to me, that looks like some kind of a structure there at the bottom left. There's something about that area, but it could be mining. What the hell is that? That is on the moon, man. That's something on the moon. Is it a structure? Yes, I believe it is. I believe, it's an, I believe it could be a version of that. Maybe these are... Um, yeah... I don't know. I honestly don't know on this one because this one has me dumbfounded. I've been looking at them for nearly three months. That's why I haven't published any videos. I've been researching this. Now look at these buildings. They're near one of these objects, whatever these things are. Maybe these are houses. Look at this. That is a vehicle of some description. It's there. It's a it could be a building, but I think that's actually a vehicle. But this is a mining area. That is a definite mining area. They are just, they look like they've, they've found an area. Now, okay, look at that. There's one of those crosses. That's built, something is built into that cross. Now, I don't know what these crosses are, but I don't think NASA put them there because I, I haven't found them in any other section of NASA. They're only in this section near Apollo 14. Maybe this is what Apollo 14 actually was there, trying to find out what the hell these things were. Now, you've got to turn around and you've got to open your mind. There's so many people out there with a bloody closed mind. And yes, I'm sorry I'm swearing, but it's true. There's so many of you out there that have closed minds. You need to open your minds up, people, for God's sake. We are not the only life in the universe. We are an infinitesimal little speck among billions of planets. We are nothing but a piece of dust floating in a giant auditorium. And that is all we are. We are not the centre of the universe. For God's sake, we sit on the outside of our galaxy. So you've got to imagine, like, if we exist, anybody that says, oh, we're the only life in the universe, and I've got to say it again, you're a fucking idiot. Because these days, we're not 17th century man. But even 17th century man believed there was the possibility. Unfortunately, if you believed it back then, you got killed. See, there were too many narrow-minded people back in the 1700s. But we have technology. We have the ability to look and find things like that spacecraft. And yes, I believe that one was a spacecraft. We have the ability to turn around and find these things now. There's enough of us out there. And the best thing about it is now, there's more of us now that believe. Because 
we have worked out, because our brains are big enough to work out that we're not the only friggin' thing in the universe. We are one of many, many trillions, and I mean trillions upon trillions upon trillions, or gillions or whatever you want to call it, of worlds that have life. And I believe gillions and gillions or whatever, whatever that one is. But these are structures. They've been built by something. They have degenerated and failed, yet new ones have been built. And our governments need to just open their friggin' minds because the more they cover up, they're only going to turn us against them. And I mean cover up, not against the people out there, on, against the government, because they just prove that they're just friggin' liars and we shouldn't friggin' trust them. And yes, I'm saying, we should not trust our governments because our governments are bullshit artists. They think we're mushrooms and they feed us, feed us just nothing but bullshit. And the thing is, I'm sick and tired of it. I'm truly sick and tired of it after finding evidence like this published on Google Moon. And the thing is, there's so many splits where you can see where the film is that these can't be artefacts. These are artefacts, all right, but these are artefacts of the moon. That is a trail. You can see that trail going around there. There's something there. It could be a pipeline. That's a pipeline. That's within... Something there, there's also something underneath there. I believe there's some kind of a little city there. But the thing is, our governments cover all this shit up. And I'm getting sick and tired of it. I would just like the truth to come out. And I don't think it's going to cause panic. Because I think we're all big enough and ugly enough and grown up enough to understand that, yes, there's possibility that some of the life forms out there could be dangerous. So what? Why hide the friggin' truth? If they're dangerous, it's better that we know. Because of the simple fact the world working together is going to do more than anything. But no, we have, and yes, I believe there is alien influence in our governments already. And I don't deny that. I truly don't deny it. Because why else would they cover this shit up? They've been told to cover this shit up. Because why else would they cover stuff like this up? See, you can see that building on that, that little white dot and there's a, a couple of buildings there because shadows are on the opposite side. There's definite structure in that mound and I don't think that's just some shitty little mound. I believe that's pyramidal. I believe that's about seven, eight little pyramids stuck together. Again, these buildings, there's something over there, that white area, that could be what they harvest or that could be a crop. Now, there's that split on the film, but you can definitely see, OK, now there's, there's a split on the film. That means that whatever that is is not just in the, in the image. That means that's actually structure on the moon. Now, notice there's one in the crater and... The thing is, why? Why are they continually lying to us? The thing is, everybody's protesting about this and about that. This is what you should be bloody protesting out, the honest-to-goodness truth of what's out there. It's about time. The Canadian government have come clean, the Russian government have come clean, yet the Australian government, oh, no, 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 you're imagining things, sir. You're seeing things. They don't exist. Bull fucking shit. And I'm sorry, folks. I said I was going to be quiet. I tried to be and I can't. All right? The thing is, these exist. Stop covering them up. Just admit the friggin' truth. Let us... Now, okay, there's one of those crosses. Look on the left-hand side. There's a bit of shadow there. There's a cross there, okay. If this was NASA's cross, why is that one virtually disappeared as if it's in ruin because they're not NASA crosses. This is why NASA went there to find out what the hell was going on. It is about time the truth 
be revealed. There is enough evidence just in my video here to prove life exists on the moon. They are, they have been built. These structures, there's some in ruin, there's some that have been rebuilt. Okay, now, I also asked my question, uh, question to myself, okay, so there's that building just in the bottom down the left near the, near the centre, just to the left a little bit. You can tell it's a building because it's a straight shadow. Now that looks like there's some kind of a divot in the ground and yet there's, these are going across that divot. Maybe this is how they live. But there is definitely something there. Now anybody that says there's nothing there, for God's sake, look to the right of your screen. There it is there now in the middle. That looks like a structure going down into a hole with some kind of thing that could be a lift, um, similar to how we do it. They could have like a, a building on the top and they've got something going down into it. To me, that looks like that could be the craft that's doing all the, the damage to the right. Now, why in the hell don't you wake up? And I'm telling, this is what I'm saying to the whole fucking world. Okay, and I'm sorry for swearing again. Wake up. Go to your governments. Tell them you want the truth. This is physical evidence proving there's life out there because these structures don't build themselves. They've been built by someone. Okay, if we're the ones that have built them and we've gone there, now look at them. They're trails as if people are walking here and there. And actually that big tall one, that one there to the right, that, oh, that could be a rocket. We don't know. But yet we have our government saying, oh, there's no life on the moon. For God's sake, when I look through a telescope, I see a blue haze. I see an atmosphere around the moon. I've got video footage of the atmosphere. I've actually videotaped so much atmosphere I could make a half hour video about it. I'm thinking one day I might, if I find all my tapes, I'll bloody make one. Because there is that much atmosphere out there on the moon, you've only got to look through a telescope or look through a video camera and tone it down a little bit and you will see, you turn down the brightness and you will see its atmosphere. And it's blue. So it's an oxygenated, um, yeah, oxygen, oh, I can't say that bloody word, but it's an oxy, oxygen atmosphere because only oxygen atmospheres create a blue atmosphere. It might not be as high as ours, but I believe it could be. But there is definitely life there. Now, even if there wasn't an atmosphere, okay, let's suppose there's no atmosphere. Who's to say these structures isn't how they protect themselves, why they live there? For God's sake, we're planning to build structures out there so that we can go to the moon and we can stay there for a little bit of time and do this, mine. And the thing is, if we can do it, why can't somebody bloody else? Now look at that. That is definitely a craft that is so huge that it's a craft that I think that was about 500 metres in size, that round thing. Um, I forgot that's a couple of hundred metres itself, that one there. There, quite long. And again... You've only got to look to the centre. Okay, they're craters. You look to the right near the big one that, that was good. There's The shadows are on the opposite side. Look, the shadows, even where they went here. Okay, we, we've been told these some of these are rocks. Now, this is a... But there is definitely something there. We didn't put these structures there. Who did? Something put these structures on the moon. Something... Mind that area. Something built structures. So you've got to turn around and you've got to open your mind, folks. Stop being a mushroom. For God's sake, there is life out there. There's life on the friggin' moon. We know it. Our government definitely knows it. So the rest of you that are out there that have had your mind stuck up so far up your asses. Pull your head out of your ass, open your mind and say, shit, there is actually life out there. I'm sorry about that analogy. That's the only way I could put it. Because the government has fed you so much bullshit, you believe it. 
you most probably believe everything your parents told you. And unfortunately, most of the shit your parents tell you is half of it's bloody lies to get you to do shit when you're young. The thing is, there is life out there. Stop lying to your children. Tell your children the truth. Maybe if you start telling your children the truth that there is life out there, there wouldn't be so many closed-minded, bloody people. Because we cannot be the only life in existence in such a large galaxy. Any man, woman or child, and yes, I'm saying woman or child, any one of those in this day and age that turns around and says, oh no, but we, there can't be other life out there, is an idiot. And yes, I'll tell you something, our governments have already received many signals. For God's sake, I received them on the FM band. I've got about five, six signals of radio signals that I pick up and they change very drastically in some areas as we're going in different areas. Every part of the year it changes because it's pointing in different directions. I get so many different signals affecting the FM band that my TV makes so much crap. Um, the story... Um, I've actually even produced a video on some of the images that I find within those radio signals where you can see similar to what looked to be hieroglyphs. But the thing is, we are so... Sorry, I'm not gullible. You are so gullible that you'll believe all that crap. What I'm doing is I'm showing you actual physical evidence. Isn't it better to see something physical than say, OK, the government says, oh, no, there's nothing there, yet you've seen physical evidence and yet you believe the government that says, no, there's nothing there. That's why you're an idiot, because you've seen the physical evidence and yet you believe in the government when the government tells you, oh, no, there's nothing there. What, you believe in because of the government? For God's sake, the government's have lied to us all our bloody lives. So why believe the governments when they tell you, oh no, there's no life out there, it doesn't exist. We're the only life in the universe. They know you're a fucking idiot. And this is why they treat you like an idiot. Because of what you have seen, yet you don't believe what you see, yet you believe what you hear. It's like Chinese whispers. Someone says, oh, that man does this that man does that or that girl does this. Yet by the time it gets around to 100 people, it's turned around as 100 times friggin' worse. And that's what the governments rely on. The governments rely on a Chinese whisper, but their whisper's loud. Oh, no, there's nothing there. Oh, no, because we've got a scientist that says, oh, no, there's nothing there, means there's nothing there. That fucking scientist is lying to you. Because he's paid by the government to turn around and say, oh, no, no, there's nothing there. There's definitely nothing fucking there. Just because... It's like when you... Okay, um, on my theory of dinosaurs, the reason why they call dinosaurs dinosaurs is because we changed the name back in 1800s or whatever, the 1700s. No, I think it was the 1800s. Someone after Darwin came along and changed the name. Now, the thing is, the fact of it is dinosaurs were dragons. But because the scientists and everything are taught something at college, they go to college, they're taught that. How do they know they're finding and getting the truth? They don't know, unless they see physical friggin' evidence. You don't know the truth. It's like philosophy. Philosophy's a load of shit. No, it really is, trust me. Oh, life's a beach, yeah, man. Socrates. Just some bars has said something. You've got to turn around and look at the truth. Here is your physical evidence, folks. Take it away. Process it. Buildings. ding a ling a ling a ling There's life out there. There's objects on the moon. There is stuff out there that they're bullshitting to you about. Okay? They're bullshitting you. There are objects out there on the moon. They are mining the moon. For God's sake, if we had the technology now, we'd be mining the bloody moon. Wake up to yourself. Stop being a mushroom. Pull your head out of your asses and open your eyes to the sky. The veil's been lifted.